Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Lee Newton. Whether you like Star Wars more than Star Trek or neither, everyone knows about the infamous Starship Enterprise's warp drive. Dr. Harold Sonny White, the advanced propulsion theme lead for NASA's engineering directorate, was recently quoted as saying, perhaps a Star Trek experience within our lifetime is not such a remote possibility. Yes! It's true! Dr. White and his team of geniuses don't just kind of believe a real warp drive is theoretically possible. They've already started making one. Next up, real enterprise. I want it! Pick me! Pick me! Not, no, not yet, Lee. They've just started. Give them time. If they build it, we will come. Okay. Okay. With the current propulsion technology, interstellar flight isn't possible. Even with all this experimental tech, like ion thrusters and spaceships that fart out nuclear explosions, the amount of fuel it would take to actually get to any nearby star alone is insane. And not only that, it would take decades, maybe even centuries to get there. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so what's to be done about all that? Well, we'd have to develop the technology to travel really, really fast without breaking the laws of physics. Or like Dr. White said, we'd want to go really fast while observing the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not exceed the speed of light. I like this guy. He's funny. He's smart. He likes Star Trek. He's probably wealthy. He's a doctor. But the answer to all this theoretical mumbo jumbo actually lies in those laws of physics. Dr. White and other physicists have actually found loopholes in certain mathematical equations. Loopholes that seem to indicate that actually warping the fabric of time and space is possible. Great Scott! Dr. White's team is using an instrument called the White Jade Warp Field Interferometer, which, quote, will try to generate and detect a microscopic instance of a little warp bubble. Aw, oh, a little warp bubble. A oh, little warp bubble. So if they create one of these warp bubbles, a spaceship's engine would compress the space ahead and expand the space behind, moving it to another place without actually moving and carrying none of the adverse effects of standard travel methods. Dr. White goes on to say that if everything is confirmed in these experiments, we would be able to create an engine that will get us to Alpha Centauri in, quote, two weeks as measured by clocks here on Earth. Amazing! And again, okay, I studied psychology in school for a little while so I could be a great ship's counselor. I was great in lilac and blue, but I really think Dr. Newton has a good ring to it. And I often feel like Okay, Lee, on that note, if you had the opportunity to join the crew of a spaceship like the Enterprise, what would your role be? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, click on that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Click on this beautiful annotation or go to sourcebed.com to see the five stories of the day and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Dr. Newton. Steve, I am sensing hesitance or irritation. I definitely have to poop.